Hey now, it's brew day and I'm looking ahead to some warm summer months here, so today I'm going to brew a really light, easy drinking blonde ale. Shooting for something in the low 4% alcohol range, not a lot of specialty malt going on, just a splash of Vienna and wheat malt in there and a two row American base. Not a lot going on for hops, just a, a little bit there for balance and maybe maybe a touch for aroma. We'll see. I haven't done the hopping yet in my software yet, so we'll, uh, we'll play that by ear. But let's take a look at the grist. So I'm starting off with RAR 2-Row, and that makes up 92% of the grist. And then I've got 4% each of Weyermann Vienna malt and Canada malting white wheat malt. So I'm thinking that should give it just a little bit of light toastiness. It'll give it a splash of color. It's going to be right around 3 SRM. And that wheat malt should add just a little bit of softness to the finished product. So it's time to mill this up. I'm going to do that using my Monster Mill 3MM Pro. Fire it up. So this will make short work of milling this grain. All right, so my strike water is ready here. I'm going to mash in. And I'm going for a mash temperature, just a single, single uh, securification rest of 149 Fahrenheit or 65 degrees Celsius. So I went just a few degrees Celsius hotter than that in order to mash in here. Just going to give it a really nice stir. And I can set the lid back up here and begin to recirculate. All right, so I'm now just going to begin to recirculate. Beautiful. And get my, uh, set my mash temp here. All right, so I nailed that mash temperature. Quite proud of myself. And I'm going to give this a 60 minute mash. So that begins now. So after one hour mashing, it's time to step this up to mash out temperature. So I'm going to go to 75 degrees Celsius. We're in that 168 Fahrenheit range. I'm going to, once it hits that, I'll hold it there for at least 15 minutes just to make sure that everything is heated through. And then I can go ahead and sparge out. So you can see there, things have cleared up pretty decently. And yeah, the waiting game continues. All right, so the mashup is complete. So I'm ready to begin to sparge. So I just have to switch my lids over. All right, so after I've got a couple of gallons of sparge water in there, I'm now going to turn on the pump and begin to fill the boil kettle. We're going to just let that fill for a few gallons and then I can add the first word hops. All right, so we're ready for the first word hop. I'm going to be using Pacific Gem here. I'm hoping for just a little bit of that sort of blackberry and kind of peppery notes that can possibly come out of this. It'll just be as a first word hop, and that's only 24 grams, and this is a 12% uh, alpha hop, but that w shouldn't contribute a whole ton of flavor, just something really, really subtle. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, and... Ooh. Lama! All right, so I've collected enough work in the boil kettle. So I'm just going to collect a little bit extra here that I can use for the super moss findings. So I just want eight ounces of that. Now I can go ahead and switch all the lids back over and we're just waiting for the boil. Alrighty, so we just hit a boil here. And we're going for 60 minutes on this, so the next step is a fining addition at 10 minutes and then the flame out hops. So now I'm just going to add some of this Super Moss fining agent here just to give the beer every opportunity to get clear. Alright, so we just hit zero minutes, so I'm adding 28 grams of Citra hops just to add, hopefully, a little sniff of some tropical kick. I'm just going to use the stainless spoon that's been sitting in here for the whole boil. I'm going to give this a really good whirlpool. And then I'll cover it up, give it about 
15 minutes while I set up the plate chiller and get the carboys ready for transferring. And reading below the meniscus, we nailed the original gravity of 1043. Perfect. So at this point, these blonde ales are up to temperature. I'm going to wind up pitching here at 67 Fahrenheit, and they've achieved that. So now it's time to aerate. I'm not going to bother with oxygenation or anything like that, simply because this is a rather low gravity beer, and the dry packs that I'm, the rehydrated dry packs of yeast that I'm going to be pitching into these will certainly be able to handle it. So a little uh, aeration here for a minute, just rousing in this fashion, will be more than sufficient. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to let that foam die down a little bit and I will get the yeast ready. All right, so for these blonde ales, I'm going to be pitching a rehydrated pack of SO4 yeast into both of them. So I've got this one here. Oh, a couple little chunky still are hanging out in there, but that's okay. And so I sanitized uh, the funnel here with star sand sanitizer, just like the carboys and everything else. There we go. And then this was rehydrated in some water that I sterilized with my pressure canner when I was sterilizing the coach. Right there we go. There's a little, a little agitation. Mix that up a little bit. All right, and now I can take off my mask and the carboy hoods put on here. I've got the particular one I'm looking for. It's this one. That's going to go on here and. One. So these are just sitting in my stir sand bucket. And then I'm going to go ahead and sanitize a couple of thermal wells here, as well as some hoses. And I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. All right, here we are. So we've got the blow off tubes, the thermal wells, the temperature controller probes, and everything all set up here. Blow off tubes going into the bucket, taped in place in case I accidentally jostle them a little bit, they won't come out. And we are ready, just waiting for fermentation to kick off. 18 hours later, I come home and find these fermenting away quite happily. So, very excited. So after these Blondales passed peak fermentation and started to fall just a tiny bit, I slowly ramped the temperature one degree per day until they had 72 Fahrenheit. I've also been rousing them like this for approximately 20 revolutions. Now I've lost count because I'm talking. Um, just to kick up yeast that has fallen out of suspension to help ensure full attenuation. So I'm just rousing them up like this. I'll probably leave them like this for another day or two and then check the gravity so that I can transfer into kegs. So after sitting at 72 Fahrenheit, I checked the gravity and the blonde ales matched the forced attenuation test of 1.010. So I chilled them down and I actually have them in kegs, chilled, awaiting a little gelatin, which I'm just pasteurizing right now. Then I'm going to let it sit for a week and transfer into carbonation kegs. You can check out all those processes in the brewing playlist of the channel. There's a strange draining sound in a pipe behind me here. I'm gonna to try to ignore it. You do the same. It is time to taste. And uh, I'm gonna be using the uh, picnic tap here. I don't have room on tap right now and I am uh, I am going to be bottling a bunch of this actually for a little event here right away so I'm going to uh, quickly have this set up and we'll try it out. All right so 
take a little peek at that. Beautiful, really nice clarity on it. Awesome color, super light colored, but again, we were going for that. No crystal malts. Uh, it was the 4% Vienna, 4% white wheat malt in there, and then the rest was just two row. Um, some of that Pacific gem hop in there. So we'll see if we get any of that in it. it. It won't be much if there is, but hey, that was sort of the point. It's a blonde ale, not a, not a hoppy blonde. Oh yeah, that's 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 pretty easy to drink, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is uh, that is a okay. I think a little bit of that wheat kind of just kind of mellows it out just a little bit. Uh, maybe just I don't even, I'm not even going to say there's really the barest uh, wheaty tang to it, but just a little bit of smoothness. Um, the Vienna maybe the barest hint of toast, but either way, this is really letting the the two row shine for the most part. I don't know why I'm drinking this down here because it's really hot outside. I think we're gonna go pick some chai blossoms and drink the rest of this beer. I'm happy with it. Are you happy with it? I think it's fantastic. I think we should call it Clang. <laughs> clang! All right, sounds like a plan. So, uh, Clang, and until next time, keep it at 11. <laughs>